Alright guys, how's it going? My name is Centro, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get the GeForce Shadow Play to make your videos better if you're recording PC games. Real quick, before we move any further, a GeForce GTX 650 or higher GPU is required. So make sure that that's what you have or higher before we go any further because, you know, I, I just feel like I need to let you know so you people can't get mad at me before all right so we got that out of the way what you're going to want to do is go to this website it'll be the first link in the description you're going to click download you're going to go through the setups it's super easy really i don't really need to walk you through it so after we after we're done with that down here in the little taskbar thing open the GeForce experience. Now here's where all the good stuff is. So first we're gonna click on Shadow Play up here. We're gonna make sure it's enabled. Usually when you first set it up, it's gonna be like that. You wanna make sure that it's clicked on. Well, there we go. So we're gonna go through these first. So modes, you got Shadow and Manual. Just Shadow Play. Manual which is, you know, toggling on and off and a Twitch broadcast, though I don't really recommend streaming with this. I recommend OBS, which I will do a video on if you guys want. Shadow time is just the amount of time that when you hit your hotkey, it will record the last blank minutes. So the minimum is one, the maximum is 20. But obviously the more, you know, the higher you go, the bigger the video size is going to be. That's obvious quality so usually well, I'm assuming that whatever graphics card you have it'll auto set it for you but for me it's always been set to high for custom you can just choose different things you can do in-game or straight 1080p which I think I'm gonna just click straight 1080p uh, just for the sake of doing so so I don't have to have any weird stuff when I'm editing but there's different things that you can change in the custom settings like your frame rate and the bit rate. Audio, you can either record in-game, in-game and microphone, or none at all. Usually I just use in-game and use a program like Audacity to record my commentary. Or if it's just a video that I'm speaking over for say an update video, I usually just use my editing software and straight capture whatever I want to say in there. That way it's just easy. Right here is where you want to save it. So you can change that folder uh, over here. I'll show you where in a second. And these folders auto make. So you just go into one and it automatically makes it. See? So there you go. And settings it brings us to here. Another pretty, there's pretty good variety here. Also, real quick, here's the save location, so you can change that if you want. I just recommend leaving that. Works well. Well, I mean not leaving that. Setting it to what you want. It works well, especially if you have limited amount of space on your hard drive like me. Um, this right here. So I have 112 gigabyte SSD, but over here I got plenty of room still. So, you can have your camera play, but unless you have a pretty beefy computer it's not gonna run smoothly I just, you'll you'll feel a big hit to your performance in game not just recording in game here is a status indicator which I usually do like to have on I like to know if I'm recording or not because sometimes I forget and I'm rambling on like an idiot <laughs> and I really didn't record anything at all or it's just audio and then it defeats the whole purpose and you can do a, an FPS counter which you can really set anywhere but I usually leave that off you can also desktop capture with this and as you can see I don't know if it's showing up right there but that's the icon that will pop up oops okay there we go oh okay maybe it crashed hold on I'll be right back oh okay it's working now oh my word quit it okay so microphone you can have it always on or push to talk but like I said 
over here in audio as long as you don't have this selected you don't have to worry about this push to talk oh, I just said that okay and your keyboard shortcuts you can set these to whatever you want though I like to leave them the same because then I have other things hot keyed and you don't have to worry about setting them off you can save the last 10 minutes five minutes that's the hot keys I really do like the hotkeys the way they are and yeah that, that's really honestly about all there is to shadow play it's very simple and easy to use if your settings don't work by default I could recommend going down here and trying medium then low or maybe go over here and change your bit rate and your frame rate and your maybe you can only record in 720p just do some tweaking and it should work but I really think it's gonna work great I like it the best out of anything I've used I like it better than OBS for recording because it just looks good and it doesn't put a you know it doesn't hinder your computer from working the way it should when you're recording so it's awesome I love it what you're about to see though is actual gameplay no talking over it no nothing it's just gonna be straight up gameplay and it's gonna look fantastic as you'll see Though I do need to note that it won't be in 60 FPS because the video editing software does not render at 60 FPS that I'm using. Uh, they're working on it, but currently, as of right now, they don't, which is not a big deal for me. But if it's for you, then Camtasia Studio 8 is not the video editing software for you. But yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure you leave a like if I helped you out. And also subscribe if you want to see more videos like this or gaming videos. You can follow me on Twitter at Centrobe Gaming and Twitch at Centrobe. There's also a Facebook fan page with hardly anybody on there. And I rarely update that, but it's there if you're on Facebook. So if more people use that, I'll definitely use it too. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.